Now let's look at applications. Applications live within a tenant and you can think of an application as something that a user would log into. So it could be a web application, it could be a third party commercial off the shelf piece of software, it could be a single page application, it could be an API. It doesn't really matter. If a user logs into it, you can represent it in FusionAuth as an application. You can have unlimited applications. Each application can have roles. Let's look at the roles of the demo application. So these are arbitrary strings. You can add as many as you want and you should tune these to your business needs. Here we have administrative users, moderators, normal users. But if you were building an application for a real estate brokerage, you might have brokers, realtors, assistants. Let's take a look at the settings of the application. Let's go ahead and look at the demo application. So you can set this up in a variety of different ways. One common way to set up an application is to enable an OAuth grant. So let's go ahead and set that up for the demo application. We want to add a redirect URL. We want to make sure that the following grants are enabled, authorization code and refresh token. You can see that there are other grants that are supported. Other interesting aspects of the application include, so if you have an application like Zendesk, which you want to authenticate against FusionAuth, so you store your user data in FusionAuth, you can do so. You can also enable self-service registration And in this case, you can control which fields you want the user to enter when they are registering. And again, that page is themable. You also can create advanced registration forms that allow more customization, although we won't dig into that during this demo. Finally, you can log in to FusionAuth without using OAuth. If you want to use our login API, we support passwordless login where you get a magic link as well.